So help me, this is the last video I'm gonna do about Galil Max. Set a baseline. This is an unmodified surplus Galil bag. Nothing different. Uh, all I did was buy it, clean it up. It's got the original spring in it. And this is the Zostava M90. So, let's see how this works. Uh, it does see and failure to feed. So the problem is the angle is weird. Uh, and so it just hit the front of the trunnion there. So if I hold the, the mag forward, it will feed. Um, but it will jam up pretty consistently. So that is the baseline for And it thoroughly, if you want to look down here, it thoroughly ate that round. So that one is no bueno. What we have instead is what, so what we have instead is perhaps what is the best chance that I can give this particular rifle to run. Galil Max. So I've welded up the front to raise that feed angle so that it runs more consistently. Specifically, what I'm talking about here is adding a spot of weld to the bottom of the front locking book. You can see the difference between a Zostava mag, a modified mag, and a surplus Galil mag right here. Okay, back to it. It also has the spring out of the brand new Galil Ace rocket lock mag um, that was way too big to fit in these. With the spring, I use it as mag. The follower fits in some of my surplus Galil mags, but it didn't fit in this one. So maybe it's a taller second thing. I don't know, but I'm just using the original follower from this mag. So let's see what we can do. So it locks in. It's a lot, it's a lot tighter, uh, less wiggle. Feeds nicely. all I had in there so it ran all of those pretty well. So my takeaway from playing around with these mags and trying to find them to work is sometimes they work sometimes they don't. The newer and better your springs are the better luck you'll have. Um, if you do have to make modifications it's probably going to be to raise the feed angle a little bit. Uh, otherwise just out of the box every surplus Galil mag it, it's going to be hit or miss. So kind of a eh, but at least I got one that runs fairly reliably for me. Um, it only took <laughs> breaking out a welder and replacing the spring and everything else to actually get it to work. So not a viable solution for, you know, getting out 10 mags to have. Uh, better to just buy good mags, I guess, and leave the Galil mags to Galil's, in my opinion. So I've got this one and I'll continue to play around with it, but I probably won't make up, make any follow-ups and uh, I'll just stick to the good Zostava metal mags for the M90. Those are the gold standard. Stick with those.